guys, Tiny Lightning Builder EX54 here with Fire Builder EX5, and today we are showing you Frontline Commando World War II. Brad is going to be playing this on Wednesdays after I finish my uh, NHL series. You will be doing this, and Brad is trying out an awesome machine gun. This is the best game I've ever played. <laughs> and then you see some hot women there, but let's let's not talk about them. Anyway. <laughs> So it's deploying your soldiers. This is like this is the sequel to Frontline Commando World War D Day at D Day. Um, the good thing is it's like Dino Hunter and Deer Hunter and Brant. There's your enemy, so you just shoot at them. Die! Ow! Die! Is so, there like a way I take cover? Or no? Looks like this is a World War One gun. No, not when you're using this. So you've got med kits and artillery strikes. But how do uh, How do I know when I've eliminated all the enemies? It'll tell you, Brandon. It'll say victory, victory. I'm here. Stop shooting me. So, Brand, you do have, am you know, you have a limited ammo, right? Well, you have unlimited ammo, but you have to reload. Ah. You got 58 shots left. He's right there. I see him. Good, you got him. Stay balls. Wave two. Wave two. I'm just joking. What happened? You did it! Yay! Let's see, you got 12 limb shots and one multi-kill. And you got me gems. But I'm saving up my gems for something. Now hit X. Now, Brand is going to do, um, the Tesla, which is kind of like, you know, like, on Frontline Commando DDA, they had these special weapons that didn't have anything to do with World War II. This is what it's like. So, I was going to let Brant do the flamethrower, but it wouldn't allow me to do it because I had to have a flamethrower to, to purchase. And I didn't have enough gold to do that. So, Brant, you just stand up and start shooting at these guys. Staples! What are you saying, Staples? Staples! Because it's easy. That's it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm starting to say, that's it? So, um, yeah. Brain will do anti-aircraft after this. Are you trying to be dead? Or, or, or we will switch and I will do anti-aircraft because we are trying out an M45 quad mount. Victory. So, Brain basically used a nice projector there. In the last video, I forgot, the last time I used a Tesla weapon, I forgot what I used. But, do you want me to do an anti aircraft? Sure. Here. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. So, you do have energy okay. in this. Stick it out. Stick it. There. 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 Okay, so it does give you a lot of these game previews. You just have to skip them. I don't know, I'm saying so. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Here, I'm going to make things a little bit easier while we're waiting. Okay, it's done. It's done. I will be doing anti-aircraft. I would let Brant do flame flower, but I thought they would allow you to try out one. I, so apparently not. So you do have to buy tank uh, to use the tanks and everything else. But I am going to use the M45 quad mount. So they do have three flame throws in this game. They do have two anti-aircrafts, three tanks, and I don't know how many special. So here we go. Where are the enemy planes? And you take the bombers out so quickly. You take them out extremely quickly. But then they send you out a lot at one time. Like the most I've had is like four out at one time. So this is pretty easy. I've destroyed five out of eight bombers. Uh, they don't... I thought they would have the hex amount and the odd mount. And the Octa mount like they do in Frontline Commando D-Day, but no, they don't. And then I did it, so let's shoot at that right there. But we can't, no. So, yes, we won. We got another 35 gems and 1,050 cash. So, yay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop that like button down below. What would you like to do next? And, yeah, goodbye.